today we're going to be exporting this file to SketchUp. So you can call it how you can export Chief Architect file to SketchUp. Yeah, it is possible. Mostly if you are a type that like to render from SketchUp to Escape or SketchUp to Lumion or maybe whatever engine you are using, this tutorial is going to be helpful to you. I'm going to show you a straight and very simple way that you can export a model from Chief Architect. Obviously, if you look at your business Chief Architect 15, you can use any model you want. It's advisable you go for this higher version. So when you look at my file now, I've modded this. So what you need now to export is to Chief Architect to sorry SketchUp is you have to go to 3D. And how do you go to 3D? You can come to camera view. You see, camera view tips. Then you click this. Then you come to perspective view. So if I click on this perspective view right away, you see that it will take me to 3D model. So here is a model. Here is the model. And I have the garage here. I have uh, some kitchen. <coughs> I'm going to look at space here. Here the garden. Um, you can see I've modeled the very my inspired place and uh, my kitchen and dining and so forth. So if you look at the problem we have to until the end. So so here is it. So what you need to do now? Now you are in three D. Now you are in three D. <clears throat> so what we'll do now, we're gonna go to file. We go to file, we come to export. We're gonna export this to, to ladder model because so this is the most possible ways where this thing can be done. To export to 3D. Then uh, I have it before. I have it. Uh, we can name, rename. So final plans. I call this final plans. Then maybe I don't have some, some numbers. So we have some number. We have some numbers here. Yeah. Then you see, you see. <clears throat> so we have successfully saved this model in Colada. So what we are going to do, we are going to open our schedule. It's just a very simple way. Let me say something. I want to open the schedule right now. So you see my schedule. I'm here right now in my schedule, so we're going to file. I'm going to go import. Now we're going to import. You remember the other time we did export? All right, now I'm going to import. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to import that file. So, we look at it today. Here is the file. Then, import. We are importing the model. If you want to bring it in, it's export. If you want to bring it out, it's import. So let's give it some minutes while it's uh, while the file loads. So I think it's getting ready. So here is the model. You can see right now we have the model. And if you look at the model, it actually looks here like it was modeled in SketchUp. Okay. If you look at the geometry and the face and the materials, it looks somehow if you look at here, it was more darker here. That is what I mean. See, to look at here, and we we'll look at what we have here. So, see, this really looks like <coughs> it's a model in SketchUp. 
We just wanted to sketch up here. Yeah. So we can we can expose some of these things. So after you want this I want to put you the export. Let's give it some time. It usually still don't manage to export because it's a effective uh, model and with the uh, uh, high quality geometries. Now, but the, the right thing here is that we already escaped up and the model has been successfully imported here. Now, to show you, you can render this here and you can render this in a very or uh, maybe in state or linear, whichever way you use it, you can start your project from here. So, I think it's because we went into the interior to explode. So, okay, I think uh, something has happened. Something happened here. So the model is split. You can see okay, the model is split. So from here you can you can equally from here you can. You can render, you can export to, you can export this to Chi, export this to Lumio, export this to Escape, export this to any type of engine that you may be using. So if you have any question regarding this export and import from Gfactor to SketchUp, let me know then i will i will quickly meet a tutorial and as i know i have a similar tutorial like this or this will remind you that this is still working okay so let me know if you have any questions